Today, a look at the simple fix for Xeon D systems and health monitoring under VMware's ESXi 6.5.0D is what I'm testing on here. So we have many form factors. There's also 1U, uh, and then this tiny 1U by uh, narrow width and uh, kind of a medium width device. There's many form factors for the ZND family from Supermicro, but it doesn't really matter which one you have. The same fix should work for all of them if you're on 6.5 and have noticed your, your monitoring of your hardware is looking a little weird. So let me explain. Uh, here's IPMI, so that's the out-of-band interface. Okay, so you see things like, uh, let's turn on auto-refresh. You can see a live readout of how many degrees Celsius for the components, RPMs for fans, voltages. It's all working great. Now, if we work our way left to right on the UIs here, now we are on the old VCR client. It still works with 6.5, not for logging into vCenter or VCSA, but yes, you can log into an ESXi host. And I've gone over to the configuration, health status tab, and expanded everything for you. Uh, but you'll notice right away, those volts look wrong, and those RPMs look very wrong. Like 41 RPMs, what's that match? What's that supposed to match? Let's head back here. 4100, so it's missing two digits. How about the other fan, 1000? All right, 110. Uh, so yeah, it's missing a couple digits, not that big a deal, but the voltages are just way off. Anyhow, this can all be fixed. That's the thing, with a pretty set of, uh, simple set of commands. Let's move along though, because uh, vCR client is not the way to do things, C Sharp client. Let's move over to ESXi host client. I've gone into the host screen. Little less detailed, less rows here, but we have all the the same info. 41 RPM, 41 RPMs, and uh, strange voltage readings. All right. How about vSphere web client? Uh, looks like I left the wrong view on there. Let's get that going. Monitor, hardware status, open up fan. Same weirdness. Temperature right there, and then everything else is going to show on other. Uh, maybe not. All right, so that's a little bit weird. Anyhow. The last UI would be the snazzy new HTML5 UI. Not sure what's going on with this weird uh, block there. Let's see if I can get rid of that. Okay, I'm going to hit refresh. Uh, well, that's a little weird, but I'm going to move on. Okay, fan, 10, memory, Temperature okay, and then other, everything else with weird voltages. Mm -hmm. All right, enough of the UIs, let's get right to the fix. So there's a fix. If I triple click and hide, it's the whole line, but an extra carriage return, that's actually an extra character at the end is a carriage return. So you can also just swipe your mouse across if you want to just be extra conservative. Right click, copy, that's now in my clipboard. All right, and now if you've got something like putty or whatever else you like to use for SSH, you're going to want to use that at this point. Uh, if you know the name of the host, for instance, you can do putty and the name of the host. And I'm reading right off my own screen, right? The name of the server is right there, and I could have kind of pasted it, actually. All right, so putty is launched. Whatever SSH client you want to use is fine. Root. I'm logged in as root. All right. And now the fix. Right click, simply pastes in the line. Now it can hit enter if it looks good to me. Looks good to me. While that's cruising, we can get the next one in the clipboard. And right click and it pastes right in, hit enter. And all these VMs are set to auto start the way I like them, including auto restart of ECSA and so forth. So uh, I didn't need to bother with maintenance mode or shutting down all the VMs. I can just type reboot at this point. And when these user interfaces come back, Everything's going to be just fine. So let me get the screen ready for that. And let's see. How about host client? So this host client, the numbers look a little weird. All in this one screen, everything should clear up right after the reboot. Okay, it's just a few minutes later, and all is well. The voltages look quite normal. The degrees Celsius look quite normal. And I can actually just kind of cross-check that quickly. So... 4100 RPM, uh, yep, check. Everything matches, so all is well with the host client. Let's move 
along to the vSphere web client. And indeed, everything looks good. It's all tucked under the other section for whatever reason, but it all looks good. Moving along. Same deal there. So that's it. It's fixed. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.